Good morning. Um, I have what is, should be a very, very simple question. Oh. Um, what is a woman, and can a woman have a penis? Hmm. Um, well, I, I think, uh, as often the Bible gives the best answer to this, Genesis 1.27, uh, God made man in his own image, he made man and he made woman, he made both of them. Um, I, I think God making us in, our, in his own image is quite good enough for me. And your um, second question, I think the answer is no. Jane? Um, quite frankly, I'm really mortified because Jacob rees represents everything that I loathe. Um, but if the Labour Party, the Lib Dems and the Greens don't wake up, smell our fury and respect my sex, we're going to have ah. a Tory government for the foreseeable future. I always vote. I cannot but and I will not vote for any politician who expects me to suspend belief and does not respect my sex. Well, well, you're, you're almost on the same page as Mr Rees-Mogg then, Jane, because I, he... I know. I, we live in bizarre times, but, you know, we're meant to believe six impossible things before breakfast at the moment. Mr Rees-Mogg. Well, uh, at least Jen didn't say we're meant to believe six impossible things before Brexit, because <laughs> people often confuse breakfast yes, and Brexit. Right. I've done it myself in speeches. Uh, I, I think it... The, the issue is, I think, a complex one because there are issues of tolerance and there are issues of kindliness, and I think it's very important to you, allow people to make whatever choices in their you, life. You can accept someone can be born within the wrong body for want of a better. And, and, and people must be allowed to lead the lives they want. I don't right. want to tell them how to lead their lives, but I agree with Jane. There are some things that are perfectly obvious, and you can't contradict them. Uh, but when it comes to a swimmer who was born a man but wants to now compete as a woman or a cyclist, are, is I hate to say their own games, but is their own games the best way forward? Um, I mean, I, I think uh, I'm going to appeal to the Daily Telegraph, who had the best um, April Fool of anybody, who said that considering how poorly they'd done uh, over the winter, the men's cricket team was going to be replaced by the England, the women's cricket team, who've done rather better. They did. Um, and, and that might solve all of these problems when... Uh, the English women's cricket team take on the New Zealanders at Lords uh, in May.